The second episode of The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live, just dropped today. Um, if you guys haven't already seen my reaction to the pilot episode of The Ones Who Live, that video will be linked at the end of this video if you guys want to go check it out and see where we're at in the series so far. If you guys have watched that video, you know where we left off. Rick and Michonne seeing each other for the first time in over six years. My prediction is that we're not actually going to see them in this second episode talking. I assume this second episode is going to be kind of Michonne's journey in finding Rick because the pilot episode was pretty much just explaining everything that happened with Rick over these years and kind of showing where he's at in the present day and him and Michonne finally finding each other. So I'm assuming instead of this episode kicking off with them reuniting and talking and all that stuff that's eventually going to come and make me cry like a baby. Um, I'm assuming it's going to show Michonne's journey to this point. So I am a little bummed out that we're not going to really get to see them really reunite right just yet. I mean, I could be wrong. This episode could start immediately with Rick and Michonne talking about everything that's happened and finally being together, but I, I doubt it. I think it'll show kind of Michonne's journey. I think that would just be a better way to write this. Um, it makes us kind of prolongs the reunion a little bit more and gets us more excited for it. Um, I'm assuming probably episode three will, uh, will be them finally reuniting. So I'm excited to see what Michonne's journey looks like. If, if I am right, I'm assuming that's what they're going to do. Um, I'm curious as to how how she got her hands on whatever weapon she used to shoot down the CRM chopper that Rick was in and Okafor was in. Um, I think it was, I think it may have been mortars. I mean, just from the thing that hit Okafor in the chest, it looked like some type of mortar strike. Um, I don't know if along the way she found some group that she's working with that has some military grade weaponry. Um, or if she did that all on her own, she came across some weapon she could do that with. I'm not sure. I'm just excited to see because obviously Michonne did not know Rick was in that chopper. She did not know because she was about to fuck him up until she took his helmet off. Um, so she didn't know she wasn't rescuing him. She was just taking out a CRM chopper. So I'm curious why she did that. I don't know if she did that to interrogate CRM soldiers to find out where Rick was, or if she was just doing it to do it. I, I'm curious to see what all that means. Um, so yeah, guys, make sure you guys check out all the links down in my descriptions, all my social medias, Instagram, Twitch, all that stuff are linked down in the description. If you guys want to go check me out on other platforms, but without further ado, this is the walking dead. The ones who live episode two, this episode is called gone. Whoa. That weapon that was just fired sounded like the same uh, thing Michonne used to uh, shoot down the CRM chopper. I like this intro a lot. It's not as iconic as the Walking Dead intro, but it's still cool. Is this the same music they used at the finale of The Walking Dead whenever they were doing the whole The Ones Who Live speech? It kind of sounds the same. Six years after the bridge. See, I, I think I'm right. It's going to show Michonne's journey, right? I'm eager to go because I just found out that you he's... could be an asset to this place. You know, if you don't find this person. Al, just give her a horse. I could yeah. just go. So we should talk about more than just, just... give her a horse. <laughs> I like them. Oh, wow. OK, so they literally just stay moving at all times. That's interesting. I love when we get to see other communities out in the Walking Dead universe. I wonder if we'll ever see a Rick and Judith reunion. Oh, they're going to make what? her outfit, the one she was wearing when she found Rick. Thank you for the armor, the horse. I wish you could have seen them like create it. Can't believe that's King Batch in The Walking Dead. That's weird. You're going to be out of range soon if you aren't already. You can still talk to them, though. Then you can show it to them. Oh, that's neat. When you get back. Oh, um, my. She's going to... This was suicide. She's going to write just like Rick's been writing. Oh, this is where she sees a huge herd of walkers. We saw this at the end of The Walking Dead. That, so that's the migration. That's a lot of fucking walkers. You cannot get through that, bro. That is crazy. How did she get this weapon? She's going to clear a path, right? Right through the middle. Go for it. Hey, that takes out a good amount. That's really cool how they showed that zombie at the very beginning of the episode and then brought him back there. I mean, she can outrun them, but she can't get through them.
What the fuck is that? What is that? What was those purple... Like, aliens just crashed down? What? Oh, they're helping. That's so cool. What are you guys doing here? What was that? Yeah, what is that? I left. I had this idea for clearing valleys. Huge, localized, long-lasting burns. I had the chemicals in my red wagon. I got a lot of toys in there. After you find them. I have a feeling they're gonna die. Maybe, like, the CRM kill this little group that she's with, and that's why she shoots down the chopper, because she's just, like, enraged and just wants to kill CRM. That's a quest truck, dude. I know in the trailers, there's that scene where she's like, scatter, when they're like in the city. That's probably gonna happen in this episode, I'd say. Oh my God. Chopper. What if Rick was in that chopper? They were that close and they didn't even know it. Okay, it's landing, it seems like. It doesn't look like it's landing. Oh no, who's gonna die? Oh wow. That shit's bad. Oh wow. Oh, I don't think he's gonna make it. Why are the CR- Why does the CRM just do that? I don't get it. She just found good people, too. Oh my god, I don't even know these characters that well, and I feel like crying. Is he gonna die? That's so... Uh... Damn, she just found good people. Where are the other two? I don't want them to be dead, man. I don't think they're alive. Did he set something on fire? Like his last thing? He's okay! Thank you. Is he gonna make it? You need to go home. Is he gonna set himself on fire? He's gone. No. <laughs> No. That's it. He's gonna go with her and he's gonna die. I've hardly even known him a full episode and I like him more than most of the main Walking Dead characters. Oh, that's cool. Making a walker. That's so cool. Holy fuck. She's thinking any of those bodies could be Rick. She got her acting so good. Those boots, man. I wonder if those are the exact same pair of boots since the very first episode of the show. Or if they've had to like get different ones because they've gotten like destroyed. I want to see Rick with his python in, ha in his hands again. Because Judith has his python. Your phone, you know what it says? The Japanese? Believe a little bit longer. Right in front of me, yes, of it. All this time. No. Oh. It's been right in front of me. Don't give up. It's so long. If he were alive, he would have found his way. He's fucking trying. He cut his goddamn arm off. She's gonna be just like Rick and finally, like, because Rick finally decided he was never going to escape the CRM and this was his life and he was never going to make it back home. And he finally accepted that and burned his letters to Michonne and accepted that and was going to accept his life. And she's going to get to that point too. And then they're going to find each other. Whoa, whoa. Is it, it's the chopper. Is this where she shoots it down? Oh, and they want to get revenge, and then they find Rick. They're gonna have a like. Grab the car from that thing. We gotta go. I'm not running from them now. Neither am I. Let's go. Rageful revenge here. Whoa! How did that is impossible? How do you hit that shot? That is gonna hit Okafor right in the fucking chest. Damn it! It was a dud. Oh!
It's so cool seeing this side of it. There's so much left in this episode. Are we actually gonna see them talk? Rick's right fucking there. I have so much anxiety right now. I just wanna see them talk. They're finally gonna talk. Oh, she liked that. Oh my God. So I was wondering why she took Rick's helmet off. It's because she wants to see them. Oh my God, it's gonna happen. It's gonna fucking happen. It's Rick. It's Rick. You can lose me. Oh my God, the little dude's gonna shoot a fucking missile at him out of nowhere. that the first thing he wanted to know was if Judith was alive. They're coming. More. One of them? Yes. Then we go. No, no, no. It's too late. They're coming. So you have another name. It's that you came out of the forest and you saw the soldiers being attacked. You you were part of a community that fell years ago, some someplace small. Yes. Don't show them who you are what I am. Straw. A leader. You hide it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Is that him? I'm like, he's not gonna be happy. He, he's not with them. Well, how the hell? Did Rick this? No! Yeah. Fuck! God damn it! I thought Rick fucking shot him. Is it still him? Can you, can you tell? I can't. He just cares. <laughs> Fuck! Ah, oh, no, I liked him. I want them to talk. I want them to find somewhere and talk. They have so much to talk about. Is that a bullet casing on her, on her dread? That's really fucking cool. And you need to put your hands up. They have to see that. And call them something else. Don't call them walkers. I call them that. We will get This away. is so cool. I love you. I love you. So this is interesting. With Okafor dead now, there's no one really protecting. That's how Rick looked. That's the smile he gave the chopper on his third escape. And it faded to white just like that. My name is Dana. I was in Georgia for a long time with my boyfriend, my sister, Elle. <laughs> she's good. She's good. Almost like she's an actress. She's got her own CRM jacket. That's him. Hey, hey Ricky Dicky. <laughs> What's she gonna think about his hand being gone? Kiss, make out like some fucking high schoolers. Yeah. yeah. That's so great, man. It happened a long time ago. One of the last times I tried to get home. Just be happy you're together. We're here together now. And we're gonna get home. Imagine how their hearts feel. Rick's been alone for so long. Michonne's been without Rick, but she's had their family. Rick's had nothing. I wonder when Jadis is gonna come to play all this. I wonder if she's ever gonna show up. This is a place of law. Who's watching this? Is it the general or is it Rick? That's Jadis. That's fucking Jadis. I know it right now. I know it. I know it. It's someone that knows her. It's gotta be Jadis. Holy shit. God damn. That's Jadis. That is fucking Jadis. Waiting in Rick's apartment. 
I'm so certain of it. That's Jadis. Hi, Rick. <laughs> Sorry for breaking in. I wonder if he's seen her ever this whole time. Let's continue to keep certain things between you and me. Okay. We have. So they have talked. Okay, cool. Is she like a higher up? She found you. So they're not friendly, huh? She was with him. I don't trust her anymore. This doesn't fall under our long-standing deal. Long-standing deal. You have to know that if you try to escape with her, I will make sure that all those people that you love die. What the fuck is her problem? Like very much. Why would she do that? And I'm sorry for the language, but you've heard a lot of language from me. Yes, yes, yes. She's terrifying. Rick, what the fuck are you doing? All right. Um, wow. There is so much to talk about. I mean, the biggest thing, they're finally together. We heard them talk. They hugged, they kissed, they're together, man. That That is all I wanted. I didn't think we'd see that till next episode. Um, once again, I said this when I reacted to the first episode of The Ones Who Live. I love how fast moving this show is so far. It's only six episodes long, so they kind of do got to move pretty fast. Um, so, but I, I like it. I like that they're flying through it and we're getting to see so much of it already. Rick and Michonne are together. Um, like I said, I love that the first thing Rick wanted to know was if Judith was still alive. Like, that's all he wanted to know. And there's, I, can't, I just want them to sit down and talk for like a whole episode. That's what I want. I want Michonne to tell Rick everything that's happened back home, who's alive, who's dead, what's happened in the life back home. Um, and then I want Rick to tell Michonne everything that's happened to him. I'm really sad about Michonne's little group that died. They seem like good people. I really liked the little guy. Um, forgot, what was his name? Price or something? Um, I, I always like forget names, even though they get told to me. I'm really, I'm really sad he died, man. I like, and I liked that the only thing he wanted to know was if it was still Rick. Like if Rick hadn't changed as a man, if he was still the person Michonne, Michonne knew. Um, man. This fucking sucks he died. Now Michonne is in the CRM with Rick. She is not a soldier like Rick, though. I wonder if anyone's going to try to convert her to a soldier. Um, I doubt it because that there's not another Okafor. Um, I was right about that being Jadis. I think she's going to be a big fucking pain in the ass. Just that one scene alone, she is kind of terrifying. She kind of had some Negan vibes. The kind of like the way she was kind of looking at Rick and just the her like the way she held herself and her aura about her kind of was kind of frightening. Um, the actress did a really good job at acting like a new person. Cause, um, like the Jadis we just saw compared to the Jadis we saw in the later seasons of the walking dead is, does not seem like the same character, which makes sense. Cause years have passed. I think she's going to be a big fucking hurdle for Rick and Michonne to get back home. I don't like her already. I'm upset that she already threatened to kill everyone back in Alexandria. I don't know what that leaves for Rick and Michonne. I, I assume they'll have to kill Jadis or they'll have to convince her to not do that. I mean, I don't know how they can make it back home and it's oh Lord. All I know is that Rick and Michonne are together. Whatever's going to happen, they're going to do it together. They're going to make their way through it and hopefully they make it back home. I want a Daryl and Rick reunion. I can't wait for that. I do know that they have, I guess, announced the second season of Daryl Dixon. It's called like carols it's like carols season or whatever so we are going to get carol and daryl in the next season of daryl dixon so that's exciting as well we'll definitely react to that whenever that comes out i said it'll come out this summer so not too long from now i want a reunion with all of them i want everyone to see rick again i want a judith and rick reunion i want a daryl and ricky reunion i want I want it all, man. I want it all. So um, let me know what you guys thought about this episode of The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live, episode two. Um, def I, I'm just, I'm so happy. I'm, I'm so happy. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all in the future.